Hey guys, how's it going? And a welcome back to the channel. And today I am super excited because F1 2021 is officially out and I get to play it. I ordered the deluxe, so I should be getting early access. And here we are on July 13th getting access to the game. And this looks pretty clean for a new game that just came out. Of course, I'll be doing a My Team series again, just like I did in F1 2020. But first, before any of that, I'm going to be playing through Breaking Point because I think this is the most anticipated game mode on the F1 2021 game because it's something new that a lot of people didn't have experience with before. I think F1 2019 had something similar with the My Driver experience but then that kind of phased out after uh, F1 2019 and then 2020 it didn't exist but we get to experience something like the journey in FIFA um, where you get to follow the storyline of some uh, driver. So a young Aiden Jackson, F1 rookie, and he gets to pair up with Casper Ackerman, who is like your Kimi Raikkonen figure. So uh, I'm gonna try this out. The arch nemesis Devin Butler is back from F1 2019. So this is quite exciting. Uh, let us go in and see how well we do. Um, I think we're gonna go hard because I'm quite good, I guess. We were at like, I don't know, 100, 105 AI driver level, so maybe hard uh, might be good um, since I didn't use any assists either towards the end of my F1 2020 series. Now we get to choose a team. Do we choose Alpha Tauri or do we go Aston Martin? Could be Alfa Romeo replacing Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi. Might be an interesting one. I guess Aston Martin because they're gonna change midway. We'll be racing point the pink Mercedes for season one I guess in 2020 and then we'll move on to Aston Martin in the I don't know yeah let's do it I'm just gonna go for it not gonna mess with that we will start breaking point and let's begin the story of Aiden Jackson as always please do consider subscribing down below using the red button that says subscribe and hit the notification bell next to it so that you're notified when the next episode of F1 2021 breaking point comes out I'm gonna be pumping out a load of F1 2021 videos so please be sure not to miss out leave a like as well on this video so that you let me know you want more of it this is gonna be an exciting series so let's get on with breaking point Okay, so we're in the prologue, 2019 Formula 2 Championship coming down to the final race of the season. Young British driver Aiden Jackson is looking to etch his name into the history books. Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, final race of the F2 2019 season. Let's go. All right, here we go. I'm so excited. This is really cool. This is going to be exciting, guys. This is going to be good. Guess that's Aiden Jackson. We're going to be driving F2 cars. Race. Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young... Ah, uh, the classic F2 commentators. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here oh. in Abu Dhabi. Is that me? There we go. Aiden Jackson, number one. So he must have won it before, I guess, because number one's reserved for the champions, right? All right, here we go. What's my mission? Hey, Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Copy that. Leave me to it, buddy. Okay, a little bit of lag. Oh, gone wide. Get that thing off my screen, thank you. Set the cameras up next. What's my mission? Get P1. Alright, I had to change some stuff on this screen. I think that uh, houses my face cam better. Set the camera, give me your slipstream buddy. I need to get past you. Extremely aggressive on the overtake there. Mr. Lord Rangunathan is giving me DRS. Thank you, buddy. Let's slip slingshot ourselves up closer to Nicholas Latifi, who is still in F2 in 2019, of course. He moves to Williams for the next season. Okay, so let's concentrate a little. Okay, we just shunted Latifi over. Guy didn't give me enough space either. What's my damage on the car looking like? 
No damage. Also, the damage has changed, by the way. If you look at it, the side pods are also green. There is a chance you can break the side pod. So if I body someone on the side, it could break. And it could affect my aerodynamics, which is very cool. Ah, so close. Ah, darn it. We missed out. What's going on? Master slap on the inside. And we overtake Luca Giotto to take the lead. And so we win the F2 championship if we keep this up. Yeah. Now it's simple now that we went past to Luca Giotto. It's gonna be a lap just by myself, trying to make sure we cross the finish line. No damage. That's pretty cool. The new damage system is pretty cool. Although I do apologize if it's a little laggy, I think it's my computer. My gaming laptop doesn't like heavy duty games, so I'll have to see. I'm using the NVIDIA GeForce. We'll see. I'm gonna try to make the experience as best as I can. Alright, we're already coming up on P19, Galail. It's getting a little ridiculous now. So, what I've done is I've dumbed it down a little to challenging which is one level below hard and it seems like that's too easy for me like I'm blasting past all these drivers so I think I'm right on the cusp between challenging and hard that's my skill level so it's a bit of a shame I'll play on challenging for a while and if it gets a little too easy we'll bump it up to hard and I'll have to try and grind it out as best as I can but right now it's a new game so we're gonna start off easy on the challenging difficulty and we'll see what happens when we cross the finish line? I gotta say, these curbs got something new. Like, there's a new code on these curbs because these curbs will launch you into space. Elon Musk, take notes. Just use these curbs as your launch pads, man. And here we go. As we come to the finish line, we are just behind P18. And here we go. Crossing the line to win the F2 2019 championship. Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! And he's done it! Jackson wins the F2 championship. What a win for Jackson! What a win! And he couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Mercedes in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment. Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright. Oh, look. He's wearing a Racing Point jersey, so I guess he signed us for the for the F1 season, F1 2020. So here we go, chapter one, that was the prologue, the beginning. Uh, having won the Formula 2 Drivers Championship, Aiden Jackson has now secured a seat in Formula 1 and is preparing to take his first steps into the world's most prestigious motorsport series. Australian Grand Prix, another track I'm not great at, but let's see how well I do here. Oh, press conference, Aiden, something new. Now you've made the leap Will to Buxton? Formula 1, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? It's going to be amazing. honest with you, Will. Lando Norris. It hasn't and really Esteban quite yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So, yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. 
Lando, I think you need a shower, Casper mate. Aspen. Smells the Are same. Are you intimidated huh? at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Nice. Good press conference. Besides, every oh, lesson has to start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to is the that Claire 2.0 that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. Here we go. The oh, nemesis right, right. returns. Does that mean we can lose the old one? Haha, <laughs> 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 Bats. You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. <laughs> Not that easy, mate. Then everyone would do it, man. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. And here I come. I'm about to let everyone down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. Come on, Aiden. You've got this. Yeah, boy. So, we are officially signed with BWT or Racing Point, your word. Uh, made the leap to F1. Okay, so this is... Oh, this is uh, new. This looks like Sky Sports F1. Claire Brody, a new season is upon us. You guys can read that if you want to pause it at any point. Mercedes... Um, oh, someone's calling. Oh, it's Brian. Just come into my room, lad. You were just... Hello? Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, it's hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. You guys can pause at any time to read the news articles on the um, screen. Oh, someone's calling. Oh, you can never, never air bomb. You gotta answer that phone. Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Mark. Yes, yeah, going all right. Just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, <laughs> I guess. Classic mum talk. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. I don't think there's a Great speed advice. limit in F1. Right. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. Now this is pretty cool. Look at that. The Twitter feed. So we have 30.5k followers. Aiden Jackson F1. Maddie WTF1 is in the game. Uh, if you guys don't know him, he. I mean, you probably know him. You guys like that, those. The WTF1 guys are like the legends of the F1 game. I think. Um, so we have Matt from WTF1. Then we have Jimmy Broadbent, also another F1 content creator, and I think he races in leagues. Um, Real DC, Dave Coulthard, uh, Arava. Wow, like all these content creators from F1 are in here. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Where's Sue? Where, where am I? Come on now. But of course, 42 subscribers is nothing, so I don't think they know me yet. Uh, Otmar Zafnauer, so he's the uh, Racing Point F1 team principal, of course. Uh, title says it all. Really pleased to have you with us, but then you know that already. Anything you need, just ask Brian. He's the liaison. Uh, okay, cool. That's an introduction. Jeff Nelson, is that his last name for Jeff? 
there are a couple of tricky spells on the circuit here. I guess this is in terms of the um, Australian Grand Prix, I think. And then we have an email from Casper saying, good luck. Okay, sure. Oh, this is the attachment. It's just like my team, I guess, the notice you get before the start. All right, so let's go to race then. And we head on into the Australian Grand Prix to start our F1 career. Chapter 1. With the world watching and expectations high at a racing point, F1 rookie Aiden Jackson appears to be holding his own uh, in his maiden race in Melbourne. With the possibility of a points finish, he keeps focus on the race in front of him. Australian Grand Prix and some mid race. So I guess this is like a time trial slash challenge. I mean, so far everything feels just like one of those invitational events for my team, so I think it might be along the similar vein here. Oh, something's happening. Australian Grand Prix, nine laps remaining. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Oh, it feels so good to be back in a F1 car. Danny Ricardo is having a shocker sitting in P13 in the Renault. Risky maneuver on the inside, but we make the move stick. George Russell in P12 doing quite well in his Williams. Right behind George Russell. Come on, Russell. Let's fight. Whoa. Nearly lost the back end there. But we make it stick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Devin. Fight me, buddy. Okay. Casper is two seconds up the road. Is that him? Possibly. Of course, by the way, there's no um, there's no rich fuel mixture because of regulation changes or like rule changes. So we can't really bump it up to rich and overtake anymore. It's just going to be overtake. Oh, we did it. Something happened. Okay, we have a cutscene now. Ooh, the two racing points after each other. Aren't there team orders? Could I just get past Ackerman? That would have solved so many problems. Right now, look at this. We're wasting time. Huh? Oh, he did a little slip. That was cool. Are you sure? Oh boy, that's not gonna end well. That's not gonna end well. Ay ay ay. Casper lost his wing. That's that, that was bound to happen. Come on. Oh well. All right, Crofty. Thank you. Guess it's now our turn to make up positions. The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aid? Yeah, God's okay. Understood. Are you sure? See how well you can do out there. Let's see. There's no damage at all in the car. DRS on Butler. Come on now. We're gonna dive bomb him here. Get out of my way, boy. Nice move. Good job. I'm tempted to just knock him into the barriers here. But nah. We'll play fair play. Okay, Lando Norris, DRS and ERS engage slightly. Maybe here. 
DRS, ERS, let's try to get him. Nah, we can't. I'm right on the tail of Lando Norris. Can I get him here? Just about. Nice. Albon's next. And the Red Bull. Wow, he's having a bad day in the office. Last lap of the Grand Prix and we've been catching up pretty well. Come on, can we get Gasly as well? Let's see. That would be a heroic drive. Ooh, Lewis Hamilton wins it. Come on, Gasly! Uh, no, we can't make it. Dang it. Just behind Gasly to finish P8. That was a Valiant drive, though. That was Valiant. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia at. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport, and it'll be interesting to see how the new racing point driver Aidan Jackson settles in, especially after that early incident involving his team. Yeah, that was a yikers well, with Casper. That's Ackerman. Unhappy today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. I guess the uh, podium celebrations don't change at all. Um, still the same podium celebration as F1 2020. Gotta keep up with the Ackerman Aiden story. The Jackson story. Oh, okay. Chapter 1. An awkward incident involving Devin Butler and his own teammate Casper Ackerman marred Jackson's maiden outing in F1. Ooh, are we in trouble with the team, perhaps? Let's see. It's the post-race after the Australian Grand Prix. Ooh, what's going on? Casper. Ooh, Listen, he's angry. I don't he's know what angry. Out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Yeah, that's Who a bit was the idiot behind the wheel of your car? Hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm. How did they ever sign you? Ooh. Yikes. Oh. Butler. I'm um, Devon. I didn't see that. Oh, what, like, out on the track today? <laughs> you nearly took me out, mate. You nearly took us out. I don't know what happened. That's what it is. It's you all about perspective, in, I mate. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Nah, that was a reckless you're overtake, mate. Blame you're going you three wide on a turn, mate. <laughs> and, uh, take Get lost, mate. Team, mate. I'm gonna take you out next race, mate. Let me just swerve into really you and crash you into the know. wall. Uh, sure. Seriously, <laughs> I'm gonna have a lock up and then bang out of there. <laughs> that was great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To you too, because okay. I'm about to Let's cock this things. gun and take a shot at you, mate. All right, here we go. New reward available, that's fine. Complete an event for Maiden Race in F1. Okay, I think this media stuff, okay, it it's just cumulative. So th all this was earlier. Oh god, incoming call. Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. 
We'll talk about it in the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. But Casper? <laughs> yes, yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. All right, Brian. I'll see you at the debrief as well. But look at this. Into the Barrier is on here on Twitter. And then Tiamat Marduk. Ben Daly is also on here. This guy is the inspiration behind my F1 2020 series and everything. I learned so much from him on his channel. Uh, great to see him on here as well. Tiamat Marduk. Nice. It's great to see them interact with the F1 community. Um, so that is quite good to see emails let's check our emails first race of the books Aiden great to see you bringing in some points in your maiden f1 race that's quite an achievement congratulations I'll be going through the briefing but we obviously need to talk about the incident with Casper in turn 11 I understand it's your first race and nurse can be the best of anyone so let's not forget we're a team right okay Otmar is kind of okay about it um, but he does leave a warning for us. Hey Aiden, I've we've got hair and makeup arriving at a hotel room. I guess this is our personal assistant. Yeah, Saskia Mills. I guess she will be more important later on. Um, yeah, that's nothing important right now. We will move on to the next chapter. Chapter 2. The world of motorsport moves fast with focus quickly shifting to the Chinese Grand Prix. Aiden Jackson and Racing Point are eager to find form heading into the fourth race of the 2020 season. So we've gone through three other races or two other races after the Austrian Grand Prix and now here here. One month later at the Chinese Grand Prix. Probably Shanghai, yeah? It's the Chinese Grand Prix here Ooh. in Shanghai and this More cinematics. Fast becoming a rookie's favorite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Croft. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up. Ooh, Ack his again. Teammates. What is going on? We've got to have team orders, mate. Building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. you got to have team orders. We're doing a Rosberg and Hamilton here, mate. Jesus. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to That's stupid. Absolutely stupid. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has Oh, that McLaren's getting past too. Damn. So he's going to have to put himself back into this Okay, we got to bring it back. Okay. Let's do it. All right. No one behind us. Good. Let me just win the Grand Prix, huh? You can recover, Aiden. That's not okay. That's really not okay. The gap to the car behind is 3.7 seconds. All right, Lando, give me your slipstream. Thankfully, Shanghai is a good circuit for me. I think I've done pretty well on here in F1 2020. So nice turn I think China changed a little did it oh boy yeah China has changed a little I think they got more precise measurements of the track yeah this left turn is a little deeper than what I remember Th that whole sequence of turns there is a lot longer than I remember it being Already caught up with Alcon. Hello. Oh. Tight. Man squeezed me out. Hold on. Do we have damage? Damage, do you have Sue? We still got DRS from Alcon, so thank you very much, but that was not nice. 
Russell pushing hard. No, never mind. He's P20. My man Russell must have had a crash or something. Poor lad. Blue flag. Magnuson, get out of the way. I think I can dive him here. Alright, Ackerman's next. I'm not gonna bump him, because that wouldn't be team play. I'm a team player, so... We're gonna try and get two points. I'm gonna try and overtake him, and then try and overtake Albon. Hopefully, Albon will fall into the grass of Ackerman. All right, here we go. DRS and ERS engaged. Ackerman, you're mine. Up the inside, easily done. Thank you very much. Albono, here you are. Perhaps our fastest lap attempt here. A little slip. Dive into that turn. Oh, look at that. Who is this Aiden Jackson guy? He's too good. He's way too good. Give him a Mercedes or like a Red Bull seat, the guy's gonna win you championships. Should we bump him off? Nah, that would be a fair play, would it? FIA is gonna come after me. Oh, look at that. Thank you Mercedes for the brakes, because they are elite. Do we get a fastest lap here? Yes, we do. Marvelous. We are on fire! Slipstream! And there we go, DRS as well. Goodbye Mr. Daniel Kvyat. And off we go into P7. Vettel's ahead, maybe we can get Vettel as well. Oh. Oh, we're about to overtake a Ferrari. Hello. Hello, hello. Vettel. Sebastian Vettel. Oh, hello. Defending on the inside line. Alright, thank you very much. We'll take the outside line. Oh, look at that. We also got Gasly. Hold up a second. Aiden Jackson on fire here. Hello. Fastest lap as well. Let's try and get this guy. Gasly we can get. Up the inside, hello. Oh, what a move. This Aiden Jackson's guy is on fire. Someone get this guy a Red Bull seat, cause this guy... is on fire, absolute fire. Oh, hello. Charles Leclerc, it is my time to shine. I'm about to become the Rookie of the Year, mate. I'm about to overtake two Ferraris in one. Hey, oh. P4. Valtteri Bottas wins the Shanghai uh, Chinese Grand Prix. And we come in... P4, what a race, what a recovery. Let's go, lads. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Well, plenty to digest there, and a little bit ominous seeing the two racing point teammates make contact again. 
Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes. You're race winners today. I mean, nothing new. I think they got this pretty spot on. Mercedes did dominate the 2020 season, so seeing Max Verstappen in P3 is kind of expected. Um, he was always on the podium, so yeah, as usual. All right, so chapter two, following an eventful Chinese Grand Prix, tensions are on the rise as a racing point at racing point as Jackson and Ackerman again make contact with one another following an aggressive overtake maneuver by the veteran. Chinese Grand Prix post-race, so let's see what additional story elements come up between Ackerman and Jackson. Oh yes, more cutscene. I like cutscenes. Casper. What the hell was that? Yeah, what the hell, man? The entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Ooh. Casper. So Come on, man. I have to make a phone call. Casper. It's what they all say. And then they break your heart. <laughs> Mom. Devon, of course. The TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Come this guy's like this guy's like a leech. Best? He's everywhere. He's just yeah? sucking the no. life out of you. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? This guy has an unhealthy YouTube relationship with like Aiden Jackson. The guy's a stalker. Badly written sitcom. He wanted your lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Who? Ask anyone. Two veteran drivers on the team? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. Hmm. He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. Oh. Want my advice? Poor lad. Prove him wrong. We will. I mean, look, we Get just out. got P4. I beat you, mate. You shouldn't be talking. You should be talking to your own team because you suck. We got P4, mate. One off the podium. All right. Tensions continue at racing point again. Just pause it right now and then read it. Um, oh, here we go. Racing point set to become Aston Martin. There we go. You guys can pause it there as well and then read through that. We got a telephone call from our mum. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper? What's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well, maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. <laughs> Just whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. All right, Mom. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do. All right, so some new news on here. Um, Matty delete F1. F1 Claire also has a Twitter apparently, Arav. But yeah, everything is as expected. Let's read our emails. It's official to everyone on the team. What many of you uh, have been aware for some time has now been released to the press and made official BWT Racing Point F1 team will become Aston Martin Cognizant F1 team starting in the Formula 1 2021 season. I personally like to thank all of you for your confidentiality up until this point and your continued hard work for the team. But as we look forward to the future and what changes 2021 holds, let's not forget this season and work with the energy and enthusiasm. I know we always do. Okay, Altmar. 
Brian Doyle, just to let you know that this evening's post-race meeting has been put back by 20 minutes, so if you've got a little extra time to yourself, also that little bump today between you and Casper has got quite a few people concerned, and I don't think Othmar is too impressed, so come prepared for a few harsh words. I've already said this to you both, but you have got to start working together. There's a lot of stake here. I can't be jeopardized by you two butting heads. The press are already talking, so come on now. Uh, see you in the meeting. Don't be late. Saskia Mills, couple things I'd fire over. The restaurants confirmed for tonight. Okay, mom's birthday next week. Colin Perry keeps contacting me to see if you'll do an interview for Trackside. Okay, sounds good. Let us proceed. Chapter 3, the recent series of incidents with his teammate Casper Ackerman both on and off track have marred the start of Aiden Jackson's rookie F1 season with the French Grand Prix coming up. Jackson is keen to find the form that brought him so much success in F2. This is two months later at the French Grand Prix. It's that time once again, the final moment before lights out and the charge down to turn one. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn eight. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape at. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Racing Point underperforming somewhat. The two Racing Point drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for, and a lot of season left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Ooh, they added more of the let's weird layouts. The Ooh, this is new. For today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on oh, this position, is cool. and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat. Oh, this is Ricardo, actually really cool. This is like the Norris, new format. Vettel, Sainz, this is cool. I like it. I like it. Ocon, Ackerman, oh, Ackerman's Devin P12. Butler and Albon. Butler and Ackerman Giovinazzi, are pretty similar on pace. Russell, What's Albon doing in the Aiden Red Bull now? We're behind Russell. Magnuson, nah, I mean, I respect Nicholas Russell Latifi. a lot, so. And with What's up with Jackson being P18? Let's head down to the track. Okay, we've not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for. Okay. But we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden. Okay. Oh, we can choose a car setup. Hello. Oh, no. I don't know a good car setup yet. The game just came out. Oh, well. So it's a full race. All right. What happens if we start on mediums and then move on to the softs? Can we shorten the lap time a little? I mean, it's pretty similar. So let's just do that. I like. I prefer starting on the harder compound tire and then finishing on the less um, on the softer compound. So we'll go two laps over. I mean, we can't really choose our fuel use, so I guess we have got to start two laps over just to be sure. So let's just start the race. We got a balance setup, which I've never used in my life. Five red lights and away we go. Look at the start, guys. Hold on a sec. Hello. This was probably the best start I've had on an F1 game ever. Oh, look at that. P10. All the time you have to leave the space, Vettel. You should know that, mate. A little bump on Norris, but that's fine. Is this simulation damage? Because I should be having wing damage there, don't I? That's bizarre. But look at that start. P7 already, mate. What is going on with Aiden Jackson? He's had something special for breakfast. Maybe porridge and espresso. Like Valtteri Bottas. Ricardo's next. He's also had a great start sitting at P6. Or did he? I don't know where he started. Oh, 
up the inside of Ricardo. He got the better exit though. I'll slide right behind him, get the slipstream, go on the inside line. Thank you very much and we will take P6 from you, buddy. He's the lad they were trying to sign. Psh, I'm a lot better, mate. Look at this valiant drive from P18. Daniel Kvyat, get back here, buddy. Oh, he's defending. Oh, it's Leclerc again. Okay, good work. Great pass. Thanks, buddy. We're gonna save our ERS. We've used a lot of it. All right, sure. Leclerc's super slow there. Did I take wing damage? Again, no. Oh, look who it is. It is Max Verstappen himself just ahead. Lewis Hamilton says the fastest lap, but we steal it from him. DRS enabled, so hopefully we can use our DRS a little as we get closer to Max Verstappen. I think challenging is a little too easy, mate. Look at this. I should definitely not be fighting for a podium. Here we go, Max Verstappen, please. DRS enabled, that we use it immediately. Come on, Verstappen. He also has DRS. Yo, track extension there, man. Surely. Oh, well, which way am I going? Smoke and mirrors. There we go. We got P3. Oh, sorry, Botas. I'm ap apologizing to absolutely no one, mate. Sit back down, DRS, everything, let's go. Lewis Hamilton's next <laughs> for the lead of the Grand Prix. Like, is the Racing Point supposed to be doing this? I mean, I could see it happening, but it's kind of bizarre how close to Lewis Hamilton we are. So I think challenging is a little too easy. Take a massive corner cut, I don't care. That's a corner cut, no? He was fully off the track. I don't know, does that count? I'm not sure. Up the inside, can we do it? It's a bit risky. Up the inside, hello. Toto Wolf's desk has taken a beating right now. As Aiden Jackson, rookie of F1 2020, steals the show to take first place. Of course, track extending there. Who cares? I should be careful now. Takes the lead of the Grand Prix in a racing point. This means challenging is too easy, but here we go. Oh Jesus, Ackerman, you are absolutely bad. You should retire. We're about to be 40 seconds ahead of him. Alright, here we go, into the piss. There we go, didn't speed into the pit lane. Like I always do. Here we are. So, we're moving on to the soft compound tires. Everyone is pitting except for Norris and Alcon probably because they just pitched. Release, release. Nice. Ah, it's the first time I do that. I always used to pit. Okay, never mind. Alcon and Norris are pitting. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. We gotta watch out for the white line. Oh, that was cool. I always use the pit assist, but I got rid of it for this one because I just don't want to use assists. We're veterans now of the F1 games. Not as good as like esports drivers, but hey. 
we have some experience under our belt. And here we go, on the south compound tire, three and a half seconds ahead of Hamilton. <laughs> the Grand Prix in the bag, man. Grand Prix in the bag. Oh, this is surely a fastest lap. Come on, baby. Let's see. 133? 133.2 is the fastest lap. Come on. Oh, jeez, Luis. Oh, Ackerman, that's a shame. 39 seconds behind me. We found the new Lewis Hamilton, guys. Aiden Jackson. Toto Wolf is knocking on my door. Asking to sign me. Look at this, 10 seconds ahead of Hamilton now. This is getting out of hand. Aiden Jackson is a, is a prodigy here, mate. He was born with a Fanatec steering wheel in his arms. Easy as you like. P1 with 18 a second gap to Lewis Hamilton. Aiden Jackson wins the Grand Prix. That's a race win. You've really been great today. Here we are then, a real team effort to overcome their rivals for a memorable win here today. Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Racing Point. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. Racing Point's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the veterans of the sport. They're making their way out to the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. Aiden Jackson on the podium, P1, what a drive from him, prodigy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a little overkill, but yeah, that was a fun Grand Prix. Not much to show, but it was fun. Great oh. work out there today. Interview. Let's have your thoughts. Interview time. Aiden, congratulations! You, you got on the podium. Okay. That's a fantastic result for both you and the team. How are you feeling? Uh, let's go humble. It's a team effort. Yeah, it's a team effort. Yeah. I'm just the one behind the wheel. It was an amazing result today, and I think everyone deserves it. Yeah. I'm just pleased I could bring it home for them. Yeah, well, it's a team it's effort. It's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Uh, the results show today, yeah, I think. I reckon so. Yeah, I'd say that the was good. today shows I can handle an F1 car just as well as an F2 one. No matter what people say. I think the team would agree with me. So there's no current tensions within the team. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? Uh, I don't want to be so aggressive to Casper. I have so much respect for him. I think there's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. Uh, let's go with that. I think that's a diplomatic. A settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. You've got to have a strong character to do what we do. We may have our differences, but I'm sure we'll get there. Yeah, I think that was a good answer. Appreciate your time. Bye, Claire. This is a new like interview system i like it okay chapter three jackson put in a solid performance at the french grand prix to firmly cement racing point as a contender in the crowded midfield pack of the f1 grid much to the delight of the team's management and the fans so there's a post race something here let's see oh okay so we're back in our room oh vettel announces departure from ferrari where's he going because austin martin is fully blocked out oh someone's calling us brian let's accept Ryan. Aiden, just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. Okay. No worries. I'll we'll be there. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, okay. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, uh, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Nice. Okay. Jackson finding form. Okay, Will Buxton says outstanding driving by the Racing Point rookie. Oh, is that Mum? Mum. Hey, Mum. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. 
You okay? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aidan. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Oh, Silverstone. Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, yeah. Silverstone was always your dad's favourite track. Hmm. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really Should think be. I'd miss out on the yeah. VIP treatment? Of I wouldn't miss out. I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own. Aww. You know? Yeah, family, know, family story. And I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Yep. Well done again. Marvelous. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. Bye bye. All right, forty-one point or forty-nine point one k followers on our Twitter. Some good reviews from like professionals, like Will Buxton here, Ant Davison, uh, DC, all saying good stuff about us. So that's a good sign. Let's check our emails. Jeff Nelson, what a result! Really great drive today, Aiden. Really great. I've just got to say, seeing you get the podium is just fantastic, and the points are pretty welcome too. You are driving with such confidence at the moment, and I'm really happy to be the voice in your ear. I'd meant to say. Uh, the brief debrief but it's great to see how you're improving and even better to be part of it well done again it's all anyone on the team can talk about jeff okay brian doyle talk to impress aiden just caught up with your caught up on your interview with claire i want to say thanks for being so diplomatic when asked about how things are with casper it really helps with the image of the team you being able to feel questions like that and makes my job so much easier you see this is why diplomatic answers always work because you want the um information coming from the team not from you you don't want to cause a rift i forgot to mention i gave an interview to trackside a couple weeks ago had a great time doing it maybe you've seen it colin the guy that does it mentioned that we he'd been trying to get in touch with you for a chat you might want to have a word with your pa as he said he's not heard much back give him your email address and thank me later okay so we are expecting a interview with trackside and that is it for the chapter we're moving on to the next chapter that is where i'm gonna leave it guys hope you guys enjoyed this is gonna be episode one and i'm gonna pump it out daily so until we're done with the whole uh, breaking point series so please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe use the right button down below and hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified when the next episode of breaking point goes live as always please take care of yourselves and i will see you guys real soon in the next episode of breaking point take care until then so what you just use me